All right, folks, here we are on our second hole. Another Weisskopf par four, very difficult. Elevated tee box, has to clear a very unusual placed river here because as we get over to our hole, we're way over this way. So straight off the tee box, right down to the fairway, large opening area. 90 degree right dog leg, as you've seen from the first video. And in this video, we've taken a lot of rain. There's our bunker situation right now. Bunkers got entirely washed out. So as Jason and I kind of walked through the shot here, we found ourselves over here because I tried to get a little too aggressive. I tried to cut the corner, but unfortunately my ball got blocked by these big trees right here. And I ended up embedded right here at the corner. So I've got my driver ready to take my relief. Here's the green from my shot. So I'm gonna hand the camera over here to Jason. I'm gonna kind of walk through this shot here. I'm gonna walk through it on myself. I'm gonna walk through what Jason's thoughts would be. Uh, so for me, as we look up there to the green, we've got a red hole location, which means we're in the front of the green. We've got a bunker that's protecting that hole location. And I've got a tree where I cannot take a full shot. So Jason, what are your thoughts on this hole here? Well, so first of all, we need to um, talk about where we want to take relief. I guess, kind of figure out what kind of shot we're going to hit. Obviously, uh, it's going to be a little bit lower shot. That's going to a little bit tough because we have to, if we go at the flag, we have to carry the bunker. Um, so we may want to think about um, just hitting it somewhere in the right front part of this green, but whatever it is, it's gonna to have to be a low shot um, to keep it under the branch here. But then also it's a little bit um, of a unique situation because we have to get it high enough to hit it over this fence here, um, protecting uh, the golf course from the cart path, keeping carts out of here, so. Yeah, we do cart path only on this hole because it, it lays in such a low area. Cart traffic out here, especially on days like this, would just be an absolute disaster. To this fairway so you know as we're kind of looking through this shot here i see a couple different windows right i mean my primary window is just hit a very basic punch shot leave myself with a short wedge shot minimize chance of taking a penalty having to take relief anywhere else or uh, you know luckily we're not ob on the left or behind the hole that's all lateral penalty area so worst case scenario at least I don't have to come back and retry this shot again if I mess up what I'm trying to accomplish. So, you know, I kind of struggle with the low punch cut shots. Those uh, tend to me, they, they tend to end up in a pool or I tend to end up just hitting way off target, going way too far to the right. Uh, and that's about the only shot that I've got left here. I, I can't really hit a straight shot from where my ball lies because that tree is written away. My natural shot shape is a draw. So if I miss that straight shot, I'm gonna end up probably drawing it a little too far over there, especially with the speed of that punch shot, because I got my four iron out right now, and that's the club that I'm gonna stick to uh, to stay underneath that tree up there. So, you know, I, I've got a lot of opportunity here, but I've also got a lot of chance of error. A lot of chance of error. Uh, considering penalty areas run, the entire back side of the hole and the left side. I'm not too terribly concerned if I hit it in the bunker. Not too big of an issue for me. I'm, I'm a fairly good bunker player and, and certainly not an issue if I just keep it in the fairway. So it just depends on how aggressive I want to get. Uh, you know, and, and kind of the more that I talk through it, the more that I understand the shot. I'm, I'm certainly not trying to go for the flag. I'm, I'm certainly not trying to get the ball on the green. So what I'm actually probably going to do is uh, I'm probably going to put this 4-iron away. I'm probably going to hit a 7-iron, just a little punch shot up there, just to leave myself an 80, 90-yard wedge shot, because the last thing I want to do is, is have to take penalty strokes uh, for in case if I get too aggressive with this 4-iron and end up in the penalty area uh, behind or to the left of the green, because that's probably where I'm going to miss it if I miss this punch shot. So I'm going to go back and grab my 7-iron.
ahead and take my relief here. I'm just going to head a basic punch shot just to get me up out there. underneath the tree I'm happy with that result because I got my ball still in play so yeah I've got an 80 yard wedge shot just enough to be able to make it happen and, and try to go up there and knock it close and make it four I agree I like the play it takes a big number out of the equation good job